So in this video, I'll show you how to speed up your literature review by probably hundreds of times using uh, AI, a free AI tool by Google, uh, Google Bard, which is basically, I believe, a response to ChatGPT. It's a relatively new tool, probably not the newest, but I only learned about it uh, last week. And I was told specifically that it's good for uh, for searching the web, for searching the web and also providing you the, the source of information. So uh, ChatGPT, of course, does the same thing. It's based on, on internet resources. However, it doesn't always uh, provide you that information, that specific information where things come from. So Google Bard is a little bit more effective and better specifically uh, at this. So I'll just present some uh, some example uh, searches that you can do and of course you have your own ideas so uh, so let's imagine I'm doing uh, a study I'm interested in, in the, the relationship between the, the self and identity and a foreign or a second language and that's what I want to do I'm just beginning my literature review I don't know where to start so let's start with a general question another thing that I like about this one is that it has the option to use the microphone when I use ChatGPT as if you saw my previous videos I was using this uh, Chrome extension here, there is this option. So let's just ask a general question. Are there any studies in which it was shown that there is a relationship between a sense of self and a second language? So that's the beginning. Uh, I, I've done a similar literature review for different topic, which was actually quite new and foreign to me uh, before. This one is just for the purpose of presentation. So as you can see, it's telling us about second language proficiency influencing self-concept. Not exactly what I meant, not uh, not proficiency, but it's talking about L2 identity, second language acquisition and identity. So give us a whole bunch of things. What we're missing here is, of course, we want to know specific studies. So that's, that's kind of stuff that ChatGPT would give me. However, I want specific references, so I'll just ask it to provide references. Can you provide uh, references for each of these points and each of these findings? So we want specific references because we're doing literature review. It's a really good starting point. I can uh, I can start with some nice list of things to read. As you can see, it's already giving me references for, for the main, let's say, the main findings. What I can do now is just copy and paste to make sure it doesn't get lost uh, in our chat. Copy and paste it in a separate file. And these will be my things to read, basically. So things I want to I wanna find next now if i want to continue my search or maybe specify it a little bit more or maybe i've already started to read because uh, as i said this is initial stage i'm just exploring the topic maybe i'm lacking the vocabulary which is pretty normal as you uh, only begin uh, to read into into a certain area but now uh, i i have more specific questions so so you can ask anything According to these studies, is there any difference between identity and self-concept? So again, I'm trying to understand what I'm dealing with, basically what I should read. And now it's uh, telling us about the differences. I'm, I'm not sure what the, uh, the drawings are, but, but it's actually good. Uh, that's another strength of this software. It uses a variety of, of visual aids as well. So it sometimes gives me uh, photos of, of book covers and things like that. So it's uh, talking about self-concept and identity and things like that. So uh, let's just ask it quickly. Are there any studies that explored self-concept and second language for migrants? For example, because that's the, the kind of a, uh, a context that I'm aiming for. And again, it's giving us a nice list of sources to read again i i don't know what it is with the uh, the images it, it wasn't uh giving me these images before but it's, i guess it's nice it just makes reading a little bit less boring so again i can uh, copy and paste some of these into my file as i'm getting ready to explore the literature and you can use it in so many different ways so uh, now to switch the focus a little bit. Firstly, I can ask about the studies. I can ask about the key findings. Uh, I can ask about definitions, uh, about everything. I can ask about contrasting views, for example. So imagine now we're uh, shifting focus a little bit. We're, we're going to talk about code switching. Code switching, which is the use of or uh, mixing uh, your first language and, and the second language in a language 
classroom basically i know that because it's just something i studied and there are different views on that different completely different contrasting views so so i'm gonna ask it are there any contrasting views regarding code switching in a language classroom so let's say i'm not sure and as a student you do have to provide different views you always have to show that critical thinking provide your awareness show your awareness of the different views and of course as give us it gives us the different views proponents of code switching say this opponents of code switching say that now i need the references for that can you provide me references for these contrasting views and just like that again i know what to read and i know where to find these things where to where to find information about these contrasting views it's just such a brilliant uh search tool basically that's what it is it's like a a new better version of you know your traditional library resources or or google or whatever you were using to search for the literature now you can in addition to just using you know the the key uh, key terms you can ask it uh, because of course it also analyzes the content of the article so so the key uh, key words or key terms uh, search traditional search would only rely on on the key words and the abstract and the description of of uh, of the article whereas here using this tool you can actually you know ask it for about the content and make sure that you don't waste for example time reading things that are just not relevant so this is it i hope that you enjoyed the video and learned something new please like the video if you did comment under the video tell me how and whether you've explored this tool or maybe some other tools as well as give me suggestions for maybe other tools that i i can explore and review for uh, my videos